Good afternoon, everyone. Hope you, hope you, hope you everyone have a good lunch time. And now on is the next session. When we are coding, we always have to handle exceptions at the same time. Even we have a Snake IO in Python, it has been insufficient and unflexible ever. But with the release of Python 3.11 and PEP 6.5.4, we have a whole new chance to solve this, these problems, and that is test groups. Now, let's welcome Junior Fukuda and his session. A Snake IO involved enhanced exception handling with Python 3.1 Evelyn task groups. Let's work on. Hi, thank you for, thank you for the introduction. Uh, I will talk about async IO evolved enhanced exception handling with task group in Python 3.11. Uh, I will excited to back in Taiwan for the first time in 10 years. I want to thank the staff for the wonderful conference. Hi, uh, my name is Junya Fukuda from Nagano in Japan. And you can find me on Twitter as Junya FFF, and uh, now it's X. In English, my name often gets confused with Junior, but it's not Junior, it's Junior. If it's hard to pronounce, Free, free to call me Jun. By the way, in Japanese country, my name is right, right and like this. Uh, please feel free to take picture and share. I'm not I, I'm a software engineer at GrooveX Inc. and I also write and translate English book. Uh, currently, it's only available in Japanese, so it's an excellent choice for those wanting to learn Japanese. Well, uh, today I would like to intro introduce to introduce a new future of Async IO and the new Hello Ish world. Uh, this is our goal for the, this talk: introducing Python 3.11 new API, async IO task group. Uh, compare and explain the difference dif between Python 3.10 and Python 3.11. Uh, we can write exception this year easily. So this is how cancellation works. I hope this talk will inspire you give the new API, async IO task group a try. I hope you will take this home with you. I will guide you through a reliable and safe way of writing with async IO task group. And I hope that together we can reach this new heroish world. Why I why am I giving this talk, you might ask. There are two main reasons. So I came across a tweet by Python core developer Yuri. He's one of my heroes, and the author of the Async White paper. Uh, when task group was merged, he kept keep tweeting with excitement. The first reason is that I wanted to understand what was so amazing. At first, I didn't understand why I was so excited. Uh, second reason is, uh, is this. There is a favorite book, Using Async I.O. in Python, published by O'Reilly. Uh, this code is rather long, uh, a quick start. I want to simply the code for the Hello World with evolved Async I.O. I found that Async I.O. task group can do that. I am giving this talk to share the simple and powerful Async I.O. with all of you. Our agenda for the discussion includes the following key points. First, where well, we explore the concept of capturing concurrent exceptions. We will then turn our attention to how we can cancel tasks when an exception arises. This is an important step in maintaining the smooth operation of our asynchronous code. F 
Finally, I will try to reach a Shinkai of new hero ish world. Here's what I'll be talking about today and what I won't be. Uh, today, I will be discussing exception handling, task cancellation, and the new hero world of async IO. What I won't be taking about includes specific application, framework, or ASCII will not be mentioned. With that in my mind, uh, let's get started. Uh, I have a question for all for you all, are uh, any of you using async IO? If so, please raise your hands. Oh, thank you. Uh, uh, many people than I accepted are uh, using it. We are all in the together. I apologize. What I prepared is for the case where many people are not using it. Please listen with mindset of someone who hasn't used it yet. Uh, let's quickly go over AsyncIO. AsyncIO is Python standard library for writing asynchronous code. It enables handling multiple tasks concurrently, especially effect effective when dealing with IO bound tasks such as database access or HTTP request. With every new Python version, AsyncIO continues to evolve. High-level API has have become more, more, more and more solid and very user-friendly to write code for. Sure, uh, with that in my mind, uh, why don't we use it? Uh, it is really so. Let's think about it a bit. So I've given some so to why we might not use async IO. Uh, here's a quick rundown. Uh, today, the focus is here. A synchronous, synchronous processing seems like it might behave, behave unpredictably. What happens if an uh, exception occur is in this process? Have, have you ever mentioned or uh, being asked this during a review? Seems like it might behave unpredictably. I am occurred about the behavior of the collusion when it executed. When an exception occurs, it's unclear has happened. What happens to this con concurrently running task if an exception occurs? Uh, during exception, what on us happens to the other task? A new feature that solves this issue. That's where async task, task group comes in, aided in Python 3.11. The basic features of async IO task group is that multiple tasks are handled concurrently, all at the same time. Similar functionality was available even before Python 3.10, such, such as async IO gather or async IO wait, etc. Let's start with the official documentation. Uh, here is a sample code taken from the official documentation. Async IO task groups use a context manager to run multiple tasks at the same time. In this example, it runs the asynchronous function, some color, and another color at the same time. The tasks are finished when the context manager is exited. However, you can also do with, with Python 3.10. I tried writing the same code using async IO gather. Actually, uh, this looks simpler. So what makes Async IO task group special. Task group has two, ma two major features. One, uh, capturing, capturing concurrent exceptions and canceling tasks 
when an exception occurs. Uh, this API excel when dealing with exception and cancellations. So let's look at each feature one by one. First, capturing concurrent exceptions. When handling multiple tasks together, naturally exception can also occur concurrently. Let's compare Python 3.11 and 3.10. Let's see how we could capture exception in version prior to Python 3.10. Let the async I gather function has an option for exceptions called return exceptions. Let's explain this. Today, talk has a, a lot of code. It may also be a, a little hard to see. Check it out here. Hi. Let's get set up. Pleasure asynchronous function to run concurrently. The first is a coroutine call success uh, with return success. The second is a coroutine, coroutine value error, which raises a uh, value error. And the third, the third is a coroutine, call type error, uh, which raises a uh, type error. Run these at the same time to see how they uh, proceed. Please note that we have omitted a wait here to the sake of ex explanation. Let's take a look at the case when use special specify false for the option. This is what code look like. Execute the three async function described area at the same time. Let's execute the code. I will only handle value error and cannot catch type error. I will catch the first exception that occur like this. Next, let's take a look at the scenario uh, when the return exceptions option is set true. In the case when the return exceptions option is set to true, you will, you, you will retrieve the results as a list after executing all the tasks. Therefore, you need to check the list for the results. This is what the code look, looks like. I will run tasks together using gather. The difference from before is that return exceptions true. Let's see how this is handled. The result will be returned as, as a list. Therefore, it is necessary to have a process to check the list. I will add a process to check the result list. The code is simple. The purpose is to check for errors. Now, let's run code again. to handle errors properly like this. It is necessary to perform a check. When return exception is set to false, uh, only the first exception can be called. All the occurred exception cannot, to, cannot be captured. By setting return exceptions to true, you will receive a lot of results that include both the successful results and any exception that occur during the exception of the tasks. To handle errors or process the results correctly, you need to iterate over the list and handle each item accordingly. Uh, additionally, all tasks will be executed regardless of whether an exception occurs during their exception. For example, let's consider a scenario uh, where you are making 
10 HTTP requests concurrently. Suppose an exception occurs in the first task. In, the, in this case, you, you need to wait until the remaining nine tasks, which might also fail, are completed. This means waiting for all 10 results, even if they end up with the same error. The solution in async IO task groups and the new except star syntax. I will execute the same async function as before. There are the three async functions. We will modify async def main. First, let's simply execute multiple tasks and receive the results in a list. I will look this. Now, how should we write the exception handling? Add try, add except star value error, add except star type error. Uh, using except star, we can catch each exception separately. Now, let's execute this code and see the results. You can see it's catching both of two exceptions, value error and type error. It can catch exceptions occurring concurrently. It is written in a way that it is easy to read, similar to synchronous processing. This is the first feature of async IO task group. The key Key here is the except star. This is a new syntax in Python 3.11. Let's take a look at except star for a moment. Except star is a new syntax in Python 3.11. Accepted, accepted in PEP 6054, exception group and except star. Use when you need to raise multiple unrelated exceptions. Uh, PEP 654 lists five motivations. Among them, there are concurrent errors. It mentions the challenge to async IO gather, which doesn't have a good way to handle exceptions through by multiple tasks. The CPython code for async IO, async IO task group during a Danda A exist. It bundles its own errors and throw a base exception group. If the contain, contents of the errors are only subclass of exceptions, the exception group constructor returns an exception group. See these reference for detail on exception group. Next. Uh, Cancelling tasks on exception. Uh, what happened to the remaining tasks being executed concurrently when an exception occurs? Depending on the situation, the remain, remaining task will just continue to run. Let's look at example of when async IO gather is used and tasks are left over. Add one async function, uh, wait a bit. These are three async functions. Add an um, async function called call long. This async function contains code with async IO slip and print. Execute three async functions in async IO gather. We add down for clearly when it executed. Now let's execute. It will output value error and then down. After down, there will be an output from the aided asynchronous function call long, saying, saying call long, task is still running. In async IO gather, 
when an uh, exception occurs, other tasks remain, re remain running. This makes it difficult to predict behavior. You may want to stop or roll back. What should you do? Cancellation comes into play here. In some cases, the remaining tasks are executed as they are. Cancellation is not new feature. You can also use cancellation with HGIO gather. Let's modify the previous code. There are three points of modification. First, we add post-processing to the call long async function that gets canceled. And next, we can for remain, remaining tasks and instruct them to cancel. Finally, we wait for the completion of post-cancellation process. We use the task cancel function to cancel a task. It sends a cancellation request to the task. Then an uh, async IO canceled error exception is sent to the canceled task. Uh, therefore, you need to catch the async IO canceled error within the asynchronous function. Also, you need to the you need to send the async IO canceled error back from within asynchronous function. I'm a little con confused. Let's try to implement it. Let's try to modify the async function call wrong. Uh, we need to catch the canceled error. We will use try except to catch the canceled error. Next. We will add the post cancellation processing and resolve the canceled error. When resend, the task will be treated as canceled. When using async IO gather, uh, it's necessary to check for remaining tasks, instruct them to cancel, and then wait for the processing to complete. For each of these, uh, we use task cancel, task down, and async IO strip. Let's modify the code. Here's the code from earlier. Is it easy to check task status? The process is the same. Ident identifying unfinished tasks with task down. We run task cancel for unfinished task. Then we wait for compilation with async IO strip. The over picture looks like this. Uh, review, reviewing the code before changes. This is code before modif modification. Other tasks will continue to execute when an exception occurs. A task is still running. Here is the modified code. We should see the output colon task was cancelled, and the entire process should complete. Let's try running. Ex exception occurs, colon is cancelled, and done. Uh, when cancelled, the asynchronous function catches the cancellation. This is the basic for cancellation. When using async IO gather, it was necessary to check the remaining tasks, tell them to cancel, and wait for processing. Let, let's ex exam Sorry, uh, the, sorry. The case with async IO task group. With async IO task group, all remain, remaining tasks get cancelled automatically when the context manager is exited. And it waits for the cancellation process to finish. Uh, simply put, uh, there's no extra work required. The tasks get cancelled on their own. 
Now, let's refactor the code we just wrote. Uh, here is the code from earlier. Refactor here first. Turn off, gather, and review the task creation. Put the results in one of the get results. Put answer next to the accept. Checking the task status and waiting for the cancellation process are not, necess not necessary. So we will remove them. It's the same as using task group normal normally. With this, we can cancel the tasks let's give each run. The order of catching exceptions and processing after cancellation has been switched. Uh, this is because we, we are doing the cancellation process after catching exceptions before. Task group properly manages the tasks within it. Since everything is wrapped up within the task group, it, it results in more productive behavior. Now, that we have seen the features of async IO task groups, exceptions and cancellation have been simplified. Uh, finally, write async code is reliable and safe way. The new standard hello uh, world. Oh, uh, and don't forget to consider exception. Sorry, uh, hi. <laughs> hi, off. Oh. How about this is a hardwish world at Python 3.11, uh, considering exceptions and cancellation? Uh, quick start, introduce first. I was actually checking the status of the task and waiting for the cancellation process. Some functions and arguments are duplicated, so if I were to do this in Python 3.11, I would pro probably do the following, in including exceptions. The book is excellent, please check it out. Catching and cancelling exception with async IO task group was introduced. I'd be delighted if this talk served um, as an opportunity for you to reconsider your concurrent code or uh, spur sparks an uh, interest in using async IO for the first time. Uh, please enjoy a uh, more comfortable asynchronous life. There are the appendix. Uh, please check out the repository for more detail. Uh, HTTPX with task group uh, about async IO runner, uh, about future state. The reference of as follows. Uh, sorry, uh, just a little other. Let, let me tell you a little bit about my job, just a little. Do you know Groove uh, not, not It's not Elon Musk's new venture. Uh, please have a look at the, this video first. Thank you. Uh, we manufacture and sell a home robot called Robot. Uh, its decision-making engine is built asynchronously in Python. Uh, would you like to see them concurrent, uh, concurrently? They can only be purchased in Japan and China. However, we are considering selling Robot in Taiwan. 
uh, if there are enough interest from all of you, it might become a reality. Uh, contact, me, contact me if interested. Uh, also, GroupX is a sponsor for PyCon APAC, uh, which will be held in Japan this year. Uh, I look forward to seeing you at the venue in Tokyo. Thank you for your attention. Okay, thank you, thank you, Fukudasa. Uh, because last time time is up, uh, we have. To, if you have any question, please, please ask. Please ask a speaker on Discord, or you can you can move to the discuss discuss area outside the outside the outside the venue, and. Please give a hand to our speaker again. And the title's question we, we will we will we will to let the speaker answer answer later. And now it's a break time. <laughs>